Hey, I know you were not expecting another live. I really know that you were not expecting another live, but um, I felt inclined to do the signs for the following days for all of you. So I'm just going to give you some guidance to each and every sign. And thank you very much for joining. If you cannot see it, uh, see it when it's happening, uh, you can see it afterwards and leave a comment, um, ask a question, uh, whatever you need. Today I'm here. Uh, I'm going to channel messages for uh, the um, signs uh, with the Archangel Power Tarot cards by Ratleaf Valentine. Valentine. <laughs> Sorry. And um, I'm here with the blue light, St. Michael's blue light. So what else do I need? Uh, remember that the message for this week from Ganesh and from the Archangels is all about what? Is all about perseverance, pushing through and so on, right? So let's do this for the signs. And I'm going to start with Aries, Aries. Let's see what's up with you, Aries. Aha, aha, aha. Aha, 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 aha. Okay, something very, very, very um, um, important in particular. Uh, at this point in your life, you might be feeling that there is some sort of like an opportunity to improve your plans, an opportunity to kind of like shed light on things that didn't have a lot of light before. So I really invite you to shed light on those things um, sooner rather than later. Um, listen to your intuition for... Um, for accurate guidance, okay? You have a lot of the lunar energy, okay? The moon's energy is all the things, you know, that's what, what's accompanying you at this moment. So it's important for you to give yourself a chance to rest. We'll go back to the message from Monday. To rest and give yourself a chance at looking at things from a different perspective. You know, don't get too emotional about the things that are happening with you, the things that are, you are undergoing at the moment. It's very important to step back, right? To step back, give yourself a chance at actually trying to see the things that you couldn't see before. So that's one thing. Then we have um, um, something uh, very uh, particular, very important in the middle of all of this. And it's, it's, you will see the light at the end of the tunnel. You know, even if you feel that things are not like quite right at this moment, you will see, you will be able to see the light at the end of the tunnel, Arius. So um, breathe in a sigh of, you know, breathe in and exhale a sigh of relief after all of this kind of like awakening moments and messages that you're going to be receiving and nurture yourself with love. Give yourself your love back because the things that you think are going wrong are really not going that bad. Okay, don't make things bigger than they are. Thank you, Arias. Yeah, I don't know. Vamos con Tauro, Taurus. Oh my God, we love you and we hate you at the same time. <laughs> but I cannot be talking shit because that's my moon. So I have a Taurian, uh, uh, you know, love, emotion, and so on. So Tauro, let's see what we have for you. Tauro, Tauro, Tauro. Aha, aha, aha. There are things that you cannot simply do alone. <laughs> you really thought that you could. No, you can't. You know, and I say this in a very nurturing and very, you know, flamboyant and, and sweet way. Um, and uh, you really need to ask for help. And it's the moment for you to kind of like ask for help so that you can see the light on your path. Um, it, it, stop trying too hard with pleasing others. It's actually nothing good. You know, it's not good for you at this moment. You really need the help and you really need to acknowledge that you need it. Now, um, 
talking about needing help from people, once you acknowledge that you need help, you really have to also acknowledge that you need quiet time and time for yourself. And you need a lot of meditation and you need to go with your crystals, your rocks, your quartz. You need to go with every single thing that you have to go with um, in order for you to feel connected and in tune with the things that are you know, kind of like happening in your life. So you need to sleep a little bit more. You need to sleep. You need to go to bed. You need to feel that you are nurtured and, you know, but nurturing yourself, you know, it's one thing to know that you need help. And it's another thing to expect the people that you are asking for help to do the work for you. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. You really have to do the work yourself, but you need to acknowledge that you need that help. Rest back listen to your intuition, you know, get messages from the meditation and then move forward. Um, then in the end, you have a lot of divine guidance. You have the Pope, right? So um, you will find that meaning in your life that you feel that is kind of lost. Um, so consider alternative approaches, my dear. Okay. Whatever you thought was the path, you know, it's not. <laughs> It's not Taurus, okay? So stop being so Taurus and actually uh, give yourself a chance at considering new alternatives for doing the things and for achieving the things that you really, really want. But know that you need help, okay? Know that you need help. Mm -hmm. Rest and meditate to know how you're going to use that help and then consider different approaches. What you thought was the thing, it is not. Ahora, tenemos a Gemini. Oh my God, Gemini, I love you and I hate you, but this is on a personal note. <laughs> uh, okay, Gemini, I have a lot of love for you. The greatest people in my life have been Geminis and the worst people in my life have been Geminis. But let's go and see what's up, okay? Así que Gemini. My dears, the twins, Mars in Gemini is here. The mind is all activated. <laughs> so, mira, Hermione, te tengo una cosa. You have to learn how to release the past and know that you are not that past. <laughs> you are not that past. And in the end, you have a very happy ending waiting for you. So once you stop, not even romanticizing that past, but being, but having an identity that is kind of like delineated and created from that past. Once you stop doing that, you will see the great things that you have in your fucking face. <laughs> the great things that you have for you, the world has for you, the universe has for you, okay? So you can be free, but you are trapped, trapped because of your past. You are trapped because of the past. Why? That's my question. Why? You know? You continue to think that the identity that you had in your past, identity always fucking changes, but you think that the identity that you had in the past is the one that you have to carry all throughout the present and the potential future. And that's ridiculous. The past didn't work for a reason. The things that you were doing in the past didn't work for a reason. So this is the moment to actually understand, unveil, you know, and see the great things that are out there in your world and feel free and blessed with the things that are in your life. Wake the fuck up. Ahora, tenemos a cancer. Oh, I love cancer. Cancer is the best. Let's see cancer. Actually, no, well, whatever. Every sign is beautiful, but let's go with cancer. Cancer de mi vida. Cancer y de mi amor. Ay, qué rico, mucha cosa monárquica saliendo aquí <laughs> en esta canalización. So, your plans are working even if you think that they are not working. You know, there is so much to accomplish and you're still ahogándote en un vaso de agua. You're drowning yourself in a freaking glass of water that is a glass of water that is only like six ounces. <laughs> So what's it going to be? What's it going to be? Are you actually going to celebrate the accomplishments that you are actually seeing that are tangible, that you're feeling? Or are you going to, you know, kind of like long for more and more and more? Why? Why be so harsh on yourself with that? 
No, you are on the path of balance, right? So continue approaching things, continue, you know, um, accomplishing things, continue seeing the beautiful things that you're doing. Give yourself that tenderness, that love, that, you know, that beauty that you give so much to others from your beautiful and deep emotions. Don't get so trapped in those emotions. Share them because now it's the time to enjoy your accomplishments. And now is the time also to feel the balance in the accomplishments that you are experiencing. And never forget, it is very possible that you can share that with someone else. Or if you're in an open relationship, you're polyamorous and so on with a lot of other people. So stop kind of like trying to do more to prove something. Uh -uh -uh. <laughs> doesn't work, okay? It really doesn't work. So operate from here and less from here. <laughs> Ahora, Leo, mi ascendente, my ascending sign. Everybody hates you and I love you so much. But let's go with it. <laughs> I love Leo. You know, I, I'm just joking. Uh, but let's go with Leo. Vamos a ver qué es lo que hay para Leo. Leo de mi vida, Leo de mi amor. Do what you love. Do not listen at all to the people that want to drag you down. You have been doing that for too long because you want to please others so much. That is very ridiculous. Me, I have an ascending sign. I'm calling myself a, a ridiculous person as well. So don't. Do what you love. Do what you want. Do what defines you. Go against the rules. Okay? It is the moment for personal growth. It is the moment for career and artistic endeavors that are new, that are exciting, that are things that you have been wanting to do for so long. Don't listen to other people. Okay? and learn that you can improve your plans in silence. Nobody has to see you fail publicly because you hate that. So fail to learn about yourself and continue going, Leo. You know you can and that you will shine bright always. Virgo de mi vida, Virgo de mi amor, que yo amo a Virgo con mi alma. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Ok, Virgo. Vamos a ver, Virgo. Les virgonianes hermosas que me siguen, que son como 90 mil. I love you all. Here we go. Mm. Mm. No, I'm kidding. It's very similar to Leo, but in a, a kind of like a, a different way. You have been embarking on some sort of like a, 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 the boat of not trusting. And when you are not trusting, that means that you are stagnant. And when you are stagnant, that means that you feel stuck. And when you are stuck, that means that you start getting anxiety because you feel that, you know, moves forward and blah, 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 blah. And the things are not going the way in which I want them to go and stuff like that. And then I don't trust anybody. I don't trust my experiences and I don't trust the people that are around me. And then if you don't trust the people that are around you, then you don't trust the universe. So what's it going to be? Are you going to trust the universe? Are you going to go with the flow? Are you going to acknowledge that it is safe for you to trust? Are you going to acknowledge that you have the ability to accomplish many things at once? Are you going to acknowledge that you also have to deal with your inner child and give yourself the nurturing that you were not giving in the first place? Are you going to finally acknowledge that new friends, new relationships are on your way? Are you going to acknowledge that you have the passion to keep going and doing a lot of things at once? Are you going to finally acknowledge that you are ready for any challenge? Loving challenges, you know, um, work challenges. 
and so on? Are you going to acknowledge that you are ready for new opportunities? Are you going to acknowledge that you are ready for new adventures? You let me know because I know that you are ready. Y ahora Libra, the greatest. Ay, Libra, Libra, Libra. Vamos a ver. Vamos a ver con Libra. Let's see, Libra. I love this sign, Michael Light. So amazing. Libra de mi vida, Libra de mi amor. It's very important for you to have balance. <laughs> So, don't do too much at once. You're a Libra, okay? So you need to, uh, you know, kind of like the scale has to be like really in balance. Because if not, you're going to feel kind of like out of it. But you have to know that every single thing happens for a reason. Why not? Every single thing. So, when you're doing too much and you're out of balance and things start to go downward, it was not that bad at all. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. You just have to release that regret. You just have to release that what if. You just have to release that, you know, old opportunity that was not an opportunity, but was just kind of like uh, something to confuse you. Okay? So less is more. Ah, thank you. Less is more, Libra. So start getting rid of things that are not adding up to your growth, okay? In the end, everything works out for the better. In the end, everything works out just fine. In the end, professional and financial success is on your path. In the end, you will start to use resources wisely, but you have to start getting rid of the debris, getting rid of the clutter, getting rid of the things that are just confusing you and not letting you see clearly what you have to focus on. Scorpio, my passionate lovers. Let's see Scorpio. Scorpio, 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 Scorpio de mi vida, Scorpio de mi amor. Yo estoy hoy con la cosa así como Miguelina. <laughs> con San Miguel diciéndote lo que hay que decir. Gracias. Good. Scorpio. Oh, follow your heart. Not your mind. Mm -mm. Follow your heart. It's possible for you to have a beautiful life at home and with the people that you live with. What's going on? That that's not working. Okay? There's a lot of reasons to celebrate. But you, it's not that you cannot see them. It's just that you don't want to see them. So Scorpio, you have so many beautiful people around you, surrounding you, supporting you. What the fuck is going on that you are feeling so left out and so alone and so lonely? No, I don't want that for you. Okay? Embrace the relationality, the people that are around you, the people that are in your life. Don't feel that your support network is so, so small that you will never be deserving of beautiful people that have lots of beautiful things to offer into your life, that you don't deserve that in your life. No. That contract of non-deservingness, I have to stay alone and be alone. <laughs> what is that? Stop playing the victim. You are not a victim at all. Also, be mindful that as long as you continue to opening up and seeing new people, seeing new relationships, professionals romantically, and seeing the people that are around you, supporting you, and all of that, great opportunities will be offered to you. So if you're looking for a job, open the fuck up. Okay? If you're looking for what, something that you need to grow, open the fuck up. It comes from the people that are around you. New ones and the ones that have always been there. 
Sagitario, 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 vamos a ver qué hay con Sagitario. Sagitario de mi vida, Sagitario de mi amor. Tengo ahí a todos los hombres escribiéndome. No es fácil vivir de este modo en el que uno es hijo de Ochun y llega a todo el mundo. Sagitario de mi vida, Sagitario de mi amor. Vamos a ver qué es lo que te viene para ti. Sagittarius, stop being so lazy. <laughs> stop being a little lazy, okay? And and more than that, stop being lazy with the things that you actually have to accomplish and do, okay? So there are positive and new emotional experiences, fulfilling romantic relationships, deep and spiritual insights coming into your life, but you have to start doing the work <laughs> because you're there like, oh yeah, tomorrow I'll start. Oh yeah, maybe tomorrow I'll do it. Oh yeah, tomorrow maybe I'll start. Oh yeah, tomorrow maybe I'll do it. And you continue with the cycle, with the cycle, with the cycle, and it's just a repetition of laziness and procrastination. I know the pandemic is going on, blood, and you know, yada, 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 but still you have to do the work because the work keeps going. Okay? So, now that you start moving on, Now that you start doing the work, when you start doing the work, then you will have to start seeking for other possibilities because you are going to be kind of like a different person and you will have like different energy in your life. So you will need, you will really need to get out of your comfort zone. That is very interesting because Sagittarius people tend to think that they're always out of the comfort zone. They're not. They continue repeating, you know, these things that other people see fiery and amazing and great. But in the end, that's the comfort zone that they create for themselves. So now you have to look for other possibilities. Now you have to look for other opportunities. Now you have to look for the magic in life. Now you have to be aware of your emotions because you're always hiding them down, down, down. And when they come out, they're toxic for what? So stop procrastinating. Do the work. And do it differently. Capricornio de mi vida. Que yo amo a Capricornio de mi vida. Capricornio de mi vida. Capricornio. Capri... Ay, qué cosa bella. <laughs> I think this is the beautiful, you know, the most beautiful um, um, sign. Um, Capricorn is very well known because they know how to organize themselves, you know, in, in the most material, you know, um, sense of way, of, of you know, sense of the of life. But you have to continue planning. You have to continue envisioning what you want. You have to continue doing the things, you know, that you know that are working for you, for your growth. So prosperity arises from that planning, okay? You cannot just expect that things are going to happen for you just because you dream about them. Continue persevering, you know, doing the work and planning for it, right? And always know that your heart is always right with those things that you are planning so trust your intuition because there's balance in your intuition your balance you know your intuition is not going to fail you you tend to think that sometimes but this time it's not going to fail you you know you have the power of loving your path you have the power of loving the things that you want to plan you just have to trust it now Follow that heart, follow it, live it, live through it, live through love. And you will see that every single psychic information that comes your way from your intuition and those things that you're planning and those things that you want are trustworthy. Aquario! Aquarius, ah, mi gente, vamos a ver qué hay para Aquarius, que nos han dado sao con la tumbadora, vamos a ver qué hay para Aquarius en este momento, ¡Ah! 
Okay, so Aquarius, Aquarius, release that past once and for all. You will grow from the situation and from that past, but you have to believe that you're going to grow from that past. You know, there are more positive emotional experiences awaiting. You know, there are so many beautiful romantic relationships, more than one, that are on your path. There are lots of deep and spiritual insights, but always, 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 Aquarius, remember who you are. And remember that even if you want to relate to others, you can never forget the beauty, the growth that you have gone through, the power that you have, the light that you have, you know? The ashe that you have. You can never forget that because in your individuality, in that which, in, you know, the, the thing that you call loneliness and solitude, all of that, there's a lot of spiritual growth and there's joy in such spiritual growth. So you have to be a light to others. Relate, live, have multiple experiences, share your light with the world. But when you feel that it's too much, claim your space and call on those boundaries because you need them. To continue going. <laughs> y por último, the aquatic, <laughs> the watery um, sign that I love, that I admire, that have saved me, Pisces. Let's see. Justice is by your side. If you have felt that life has, you know, has dealt a really bad card on you, <laughs> karma has been working. So, you need in order for you to wait for karma, in order for you to wait for justice, you need to have patience. But let's not call it patience. Let's, let's call it the art of waiting. You have to master the art of waiting and self-control. No te me pongas loco, loca, loque. Forgive and forget. Justice is by my side. You will be in this process improving, improving really, the ways in which your plans are gonna start going. But you need to enact that self-control. If you don't act on that self-control, there will be no psychic ability that will tell you what's the next step on your path okay so listen to that intuition listen to those things that the spirits are saying be mindful of the things that the universe is saying to you and act patiently and act with a lot of self-control in the end everything works in the end you can relate to others better in the end you don't give up on those you love in the end you find kindred spirits in the end you are putting your fucking heart out there and you are dedicated to creating something meaningful and wonderful so Give yourself a chance at self-control and you will be able to see love in everything you do. And with that, I say bye-bye. Ashe, luz y progreso. Gracias a la misericordia. Ajibo. Ciao, ciao. Namaste. This week is Shiva's day. So embrace the destruction and let the destruction teach you the wonderful, beautiful things 
that are on the other 